welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. In this video, we will see how to create this toggle switch so that you can switch between light and dark mode pages on your website very easily using just Tailwind CSS and plain vanilla JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's start with this simple web page. I have created a Tailwind CSS project. You can see that I've installed Tailwind CSS here. I am using a custom style sheet and in my public folder, I have index.html and using a build script here, I build this custom style sheet into the style sheet that I put into index.html. If this is too confusing for you or you need help setting up a project exactly like this, look into the video that I have linked above. So now let's get started with this. As you saw, this is a very simple web page. Now what we need to do is first include a switch as you saw in the beginning. So we put a switch right here. It's actually going to be a checkbox that will be toggled. Let's give it an ID toggle and we're actually going to hide this with class hidden and create the, the switch look to make this work. So let's start with a div with width 9, height h5, flex of course, items center, bg gray 300, rounded full, p1, and that's it. This is the switch, but here comes the dot within the switch. If class width w4 h4 pg white rounded full shadow md. Yeah, that's it. Let's see what this looks like. So yeah, we have the switch, but it's aligned here. I guess we should put this whole thing into this container and now we have it aligned on the left so let's wrap this inside a div with flex justify end and items center because within this we're also going to have the light and dark uh, you know labels right so let this whole thing be inside another div. Let's have the labels here. Text small, text gray 800 because light mode is active. This is, this is light. And then same thing on the right with dark but this looks a little muted initially so maybe text 400 and we need some space with flex so let's add a uh, sorry let's add space x2 now let's see right so light and dark that's perfect but how do we actually make this work so when you click on this part the checkbox should get checked for that we could wrap this whole div within a label and just say label for toggle that is whatever id you give for the input checkbox you just have to put that here and then whenever you click on this div the checkbox toggles and once the checkbox is checked we need this switch we need this dot to move to the right so let's do that using some custom CSS. This is where you add your custom CSS. So now input or maybe you could say toggle checked using the sibling selector label label div we haven't given this a class right so Let's give it a class saying toggle dot. 
div dot toggle dot just need to say apply let's translate it so translate x to or yeah let's see let's see what this does but for this to work we need to have a transform class here let's add transform let's see if this works now this doesn't work and that's because we forgot to build because we changed our custom css file now we're supposed to build it once npm run build of course you could add a watch script so that whenever your styles.css or tailwind config file changes you can build it automatically but now that it's done let's see yeah so this does work maybe translate x3 should do fine so translate x3 and save it build it again now let's now let's see yes this is great but you see there is no animation currently the dot is supposed to move from left to right right now it's just appearing on the right appearing on the left let's add that animation with tailwind it's very easy you just have to say just have to add a duration maybe 300 and then ease and out now let's see you see yeah so now this is great this part is done now before we add some javascript to make this whole thing work let's see how to customize our look for the dark mode to switch to dark mode now tailwind has two options let me go to the documentation so if you go to dark mode you can see that in your tailwind.config.js file if you have dark mode set to media whenever the user's operating system preference is dark then all your dark variants like you can add dark bg gray so if the user's preference is dark mode then automatically the user will see this in place but we can also toggle dark mode manually which is what we are doing in this video for which you need to have this line dark mode class instead of media in your tailwind.config.js file. So let's do that first. Go to your config file and you see we have this false. You could change this to media or class. So let's have this set to class. And now like it shows, you need to add this class dark to HTML. So now in next.html, let's add a class dark to html now because we are building in dark mode and then we will need a background of bg gray 800 and then in dark we need a text gray 100 let's see what it does of course once again we need to build and yes, we can see that most of our text has already changed to the dark mode. We just need to make these slight edits of, uh, you know, changing the label background and text color. The buttons also look fine. It's just these labels. So let's change the labels here to dark text gray 200 and then dark bg cyan 800 let's see what that looks like yeah, this label looks fine so let's add these two to all other labels as well so we have our dark mode ready of course the switch also needs to change its appearance in dark mode so for that dark uh, this has to be very light so maybe text gray 600 here 
and then dark text white. Almost fine, maybe it's too much. So here we make a text gray 100 and then text gray say 500 here. Yeah, this looks almost fine. Only change the background color of the switch, it's too bright. That comes here. So BG gray 300 and for dark, let's have a BG gray say 600. Yes, this looks great. Now all we need to do is add some JavaScript to actually make this toggle the light and dark mode. All we need to do is whenever this checkbox is checked, we need to have, we need to add this class dark to our HTML and whenever it's unchecked, we need to remove the class dark from HTML. So coming here, add the script tags, const checkbox equals document dot query selector of course you can do this with view or react or jquery whichever you're comfortable with i'm just doing it with vanilla javascript to show you how easy it is and const html is document dot query selector html okay now let's have this function const toggle dark mode this function checkbox dot checked let's use the ternary operator here if it's checked then html dot class list dot add dark else HTML dot class list dot remove dark. Yeah. Now let's call this function directly because sometimes you might refresh the page and you the checkbox is still checked. So that time it needs to add the class to HTML. So we call this on load. Also, we call this whenever the checkbox is toggled. So let's have an event checkbox.add event listener. Click toggle dark mode. Does this work? Oh, yes, it does. The only thing missing right now is the cursor should be pointer. That is so easy to add. Come to the label and add a class cursor pointer. And then that's it. So have fun changing from light to dark mode. Implement dark mode in your website. And let me know in the comments if this really helped you. Do share the video across. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.